Hey, what is going on, guys? This is MJX Commander here, and today I'm gonna show you a little bit of my new my uh, well my new Minecraft world I created. Uh, uh, I created and I did it on creative. I actually created this on creative. I just wanted to make a new world, so um, you know now. But I still have the glass dome and that that cool stuff on on uh, survival. So um, so let's get into it. Alright, so this is my only creation in this world so far. And I wanted to make a stadium. I, I think this is going to be more of a sports world than anything. There, there's a cave right there. But, okay, okay, let's get, stop getting distracted. Um, Alright, so basically you got your stands around the field. The upper decks are on the towards the right side of the field and behind uh, in foul territory right here uh, another another thing right behind another upper deck right behind the dugout um, I think those are pretty unique I, I don't think they're really necessary for I you know you're not gonna fill in every seat of this over here so yeah all right so that's basically my stands now let's get on to um now it's basically let's get on to the features of this. Okay, so the black wool, you might want to wonder why this turns into black wool right here. This basically marks out the batter's eye used in baseball. So usually I set up a wall right up here and um it it's a batter's eye so no one can sit there and so it doesn't distract the batter. Alright, so then I have this gold block over here to represent a foul pole. The re reason why um, I don't have a gold block over there, because the foul pole for this is like right here, like somewhere right in this area, because this is like actually the bullpen. It's also the end, end zone for football, um, so that's pretty cool so that that's the bullpen over there slash the end zone for football uh, I have I do set up field goals for football by the way so um let's just get it let's just get into the rink like this all right so start at the main portion of the rink all right so usually I don't really have doors for this but um you know all I do is basically when both teams step onto the ice. I just go like, what am I doing? Okay. Uh. Okay. So basically, all I do is just go like this. And then I go like. So that's basically all I do once both teams step onto the ice. There's no really doors, because um, I I could probably make doors when um, you know I could probably put a door right here. In fact, you know what? Let, let's do that right now. There we go. You got a door. There you go. Got a door. Okay, for the penalty boxes. So, doors for the penalty box. Um, usually, I don't have any doors for the player benches, though. So, because you can just hop over them. Alright, so player bench, penalty box, timekeepers. All this right here is a bunch of pucks, a.k.a. music discs, but they play as pucks. Um, I don't know why I have a clock. <laughs> Uh, exactly. But here's the nets, the netting up above. Um, just realistically, if this was real life, this netting would be set up because that this is too close to the end of the field as that is actually a little bit farther away. So that's why the netting 
is their backboards with glass planes all around. Okay. All right, and then you got all your hockey lines for necessary for hockey, so. Except I didn't make the circles, like, right here, because I, I, I just figured out that I would just, like, mess up or something, so it's easier just not to do the circles. All right. So, right here is about where home plate is in a baseball game. And then and then you got the black wool represents uh, where you step onto. Okay, so then once you get into the locker rooms and um, you basically get diamond armor, gold armor. It's either diamond armor, gold armor, silver armor, or chain armor. And that, identify, that basically identifies what team you're on. So, um... So that, that yeah, that basically identifies what team you're on. Uh, same thing in the other locker room. It's just a chess. Okay, so then those are the dugouts right there, right before the locker room, used for baseball. Um, so then, usually, uh, I think for the 2009 Winter Classic, they actually had the teams walk out from the dugout toward home plate, and then they would both walk side by side up, to the rink, well, it wouldn't actually be that high, but the thing is, is that a hockey rink is actually three layers, because you got, then you got the, you got the, first you got the marks in the ice, like the white wool underneath it, and then, uh, well, actually, no, I, the, this, okay, I probably shouldn't make this three high, so I, you know, for the next Winter Classic, I'll probably, like, redo this and do it too high or something. Because I, I, don't, I don't know why. Actually, okay. Alright, I'm going to shut up about that. Alright, I lied. Um, whatever. So, I put this lava pit here because uh, I just thought I would make a cool effect to it. And there's a lava pit right here. This is the stage. For, you know, usually someone during the Winter Classic comes and performs in, on a stage, on the stage. So, um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. That's my football and baseball stadium. And right now it's set up for the Winter Classic. So, I thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys later. Bye. By the way... Uh, if my mic sounds a little bit bad, I am actually t testing this out with my Turtle Beaches. I'm actually recording this live as I talk. So that's why I might be like stuttering a little bit or doing this, that. Okay, so so I'm doing a live commentary. Uh, basically a live commentary with my Turtle Beaches. So, yeah. So then I don't have to sync up the audio. Bye.